Jingle bells, jingle. <laughs> I can't. I can't <laughs> breathe. <laughs> Hey guys, no, it's been a while. We're so sorry, but um, it's Christmas time, and you know what that means? It means banjo time, and we thought that for tonight's press night of Cinderella at the Birmingham Hippodrome, we'd go for the more subtle approach. So here we go. <laughs> Screaming. And I'm losing my hearing from sitting next to him. And do you know what? Right. Before I went in, I really didn't know what to expect. I just thought Linda Bellingham, Brian Connolly, Basil Brush. <laughs> Basil. I just had loads of expectations of what to expect from people that I grew up with on television and it was something quite special. And I just I just didn't know what to expect. The costumes were so sparkly and out of this world. They were big hooped dresses, the dancers had lovely short dresses but full on puffiness. Exactly what you expect from a traditional, good, old fashioned, as I've said, banjo. It was bright, it was bubbly, there was loads of brilliant dancing. I love pantos and I just love the, the Christmas thing about pantos, the audience participation. I mean, in a scary way, I even love all the screaming kids around me and that's just, that sounds so wrong. <laughs> it was when they actually got the children on at the end as well singing um, Old MacDonald Had a Farm. So Everyone funny. knows that song and the kids were just adorable. You want to put them in their pocket and just go... There was lots of things like the Brian Connolly show from back in the 90s and I was in bits. It was so like, I just kept laughing. I was creasing myself. <laughs> And there were actual horses on stage. They had a My Little Pony, and then they had a huge horse called Charlie who did tricks like went to sleep, pretended he needed the toilet. I was mortified. I saw a real horse, and I was like, what the devil is yeah. going on here? What the devil? Um, Do you like my tinsel on my shoe? It's Christmas. Pantomime's brilliant at Christmas. Oh, I want to give a big shout out to Louise Butler, who is one of the dancers, um, because I have done promotional work with her in the past, so well done, I thought you were fab. I feel like at the moment I need to be in a shopping centre bringing children to see Father Christmas. <laughs> we should be in Santa's Grotto right now. One thing I would like you guys to do now, seeing as we're talking about pantomimes, is leave us a comment down below. Let us know what your favourite pantomime is or what your favourite thing about panto is. We want to know. I want to be in a panto, Gordon. But actually, I think we should write a pantomime about elves. Next year, guys, next year, pantomime, the elves, yeah? The elves. One fact for you is this is actually the fifth year in a row that Brian Connolly has starred in the Birmingham Hippodrome's uh, pantomime and he's also going to be starring in next year's as well. This pantomime isn't just for the children, there's a lot of adult humour, things that parents, the children won't understand but we know. We know. We know. We know. Instead of the usual way Cinderella goes to the ball, she actually was still inside the pumpkin, but the horse had wings and it kind of flew 
people nearly out into the audience. You should have seen my face. I was at that. Gordon had his hand on my lap and everything. I was like, the horse is coming into the audience. <laughs> oh, what a pilchard he looked. <laughs> I was not happy. Sad elf. Sad elf. I said sad elf, not sad. <laughs> How rude is this? <laughs> so if you get the chance guys, get yourself down to the Birmingham Hippodrome, see Cinderella. It's an amazing show, I've really enjoyed myself. And I have, and if you're stupid like us, you'll dress up and have a really, really good panto time. It's Christmas! I love Christmas! And it actually runs until the 29th of January, so Pop on down and have a little on boogie with Button, Cinderella and the gang. There's a gang? Yeah. Oh my god, there's a gang. Jingle bells, jingle bells. <laughs> Jingle bells, Batman smells, Robin flew away. Mr. Happy lost his neck on the end of the way. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. I can hear Jane. It's Jane!